So, so here's the deal. So here's what Texas decided to do. So at the end of last year, the chapter 313 incentives were removed. And so what would happen with these big developments that were coming in? So like Samsung, all these big companies, right? Apple, Dell, all of those, what they would do is they would negotiate because the taxes are very expensive for businesses here. So what they decided to do was remove, well, it was part of just the legislature, the chapter 313 incentives would give like a 40% break to companies for coming here, building a business, building a huge complex. You know, we lost Micron was one of the ones that we lost. We just lost uh, uh, Intel, went to Ohio over Austin because they couldn't get 313 incentives because the, well, the way the taxes work is like, what is it? Like 60% of the taxes actually go to the school district and Austin, we get recapture. So they actually go back to the state and the state distributes them. So what are your thoughts on the 313 incentives being removed? And what does that actually mean for the Austin area and for Texas trying to get some of these big businesses to move here? Yeah. Uh, Kevin, Ian, we'll well, I want to hear what Ian says, because I think he knows a bit more potential. Yeah. So we saw what happened with Micron. We lost them to New freaking York. Like, how did that happen? <laughs> right. And I think we may end up in that situation a little more frequently. You you hear these stories. All these businesses are starting in Delaware because they're so tax favorable. And we're sitting here thinking, well, we want businesses to come here. It helps growth, helps jobs. Yet we would make a move like this. So I think the counter question would be, would, and this is for anybody who owns a home, would you move here if you didn't get a homestead exemption or the possibility of an ag exemption or any of these tax breaks for being a property owner? Because that's the same thing that we're saying about these businesses. Hey, we want you to come here, but we're not going to give you any deals. I mean, again, I, I would love to see some form of tax break, you know, and then here's the thing is some people don't want tax breaks in this article. They even talk about it was some church Episcopal church of interfaith was saying that we don't want the three, one, three incentives. Right. So Wait, it's they interesting. Already, they already don't pay taxes. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, of you they know, don't they don't have, That's like they probably, VA. Yeah. of course you don't want it. Yeah. Uh, under the pro uh, under the program, manufacturing energy companies would, apply to local school districts for the break and have and have been approved for billions of dollars in property tax breaks it has been used by this by like tesla while setting up its electric vehicle whatever so uh samsung uses it used it that's what got them into taylor so things like that so kevin wh i mean what are your thoughts you heard what ian said so yeah what are your yeah no i i mean obviously like uh i'm i'm somewhat i mean i'm familiar with incentives i wasn't as familiar with uh, this program until you'd mentioned, we talked about it. I did a little bit more research on that side to see kind of what the details were, but I know that there's like, you know, essentially what you're doing is you're, you're as a company, you're bribing the, and it's, I know it's an aggressive word, but it is what it is. Cause it's what they do in development. You're, you're grease. Uh, what do they call that? Uh, when I was working at Caterpillar, they actually had a class for us for international travel that if you happen to be traveling in a country that, uh, culturally likes it, like, uh, in, in the Middle East or in uh, Africa, there are some countries that when you're visiting as a Caterpillar employee, sometimes you have to grease the skids, which means pay a little extra money to the guy that's traveling to let you through the gate so that you can go do your business. And, th and that's part of a cultural thing. In, in development across the world and across the country, for sure, this is the same thing. You're greasing the skids of the county and saying, we will give you extra money to go towards the school district if you give us some other benefits later on and and they do this as well like uh one of the developers downtown that's doing a big building they're actually paying money to uh affordable housing and in return able to violate some of the of uh, the current development guidelines to add more units into the building so this is kind of the way it works i am a big a firm believer that none of this is even required that a business is going to go where they want to be anyway and there's no way as a, a, a an area like austin if they don't see the value of having a business here, then I don't blame a company. They're they're here for profits, bottom line. I don't blame them for looking everywhere in the country to see where they're going to make the most money. And it, it doesn't matter if we offer it or not. We can't control what other cities, states, whatever offer in terms of incentives, regardless of this program. Well, just like just like with residential, people are buying for moving for love or money, right? Businesses are moving for money or talent. 
is what it seems, right? That's why a lot of businesses are making these decisions. Austin is a high talent pool. Um, so I have a counter, counter proposal. What? Sorry, I, I hear the dog barking in the background. That's my what, dog, sorry. what do you think about this? Let's say the, the, the 313 ends and now these businesses aren't getting that incentive, but also the city, I wanted to talk about their, their, what they're receiving in taxes. Um, do you think it'll affect what our property tax values are? Because these companies aren't getting the discounts anymore. That's really what I'm curious about. Most well, curious about. Um, uh, gone uh, surfing. Um, I smell some up dog. Um, but th that's a good point. I would like to see less money. Like, here's the thing that really just annoys me about the tax system in general is that so much money goes to school taxes or st so much of the taxes go to the schools, but we don't see any improvement in the schools. Like I, I just left the school district to go to another school district because it was not what I was hoping for my child. So do we see a point where people start leaving Texas because taxes get too expensive and then businesses go, Hey, all the talent's leaving because it's too expensive. All this money is going to tax taxes. When does the, our legislature and when does the city of Austin decide, Hey, you know, we should ease up on the uh, money spigot. Is that something that actually happens? No, I don't think it, I, I agree with you, Jeremy. I think that too much of the money is actually too much property tax is going to the schools. I think uh, generally speaking, we need major reform in all tax areas in the country. Uh, I know that there's some work going towards uh, like proposing eliminating income tax and moving towards my, like a value added tax model. Um, and then property tax, you know, uh, the governor has said we had a, a surplus in their budget because of the property taxes, because of the, I think it was values. because of sales tax, not property tax. Uh, no, I'll have to, one he, of the taxes. He mentioned property tax. Specific, I read, okay. was, yeah, I missed it. Then. But, but the reality is, because the property values went so up so fast, they weren't budgeting for that to be even required. And he's like, we're going to try to find a way to give back to people, whether it's probably, you may be right. It may be uh, 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 sales tax as well. But the reality is across the board, I think we need uh, uh, corner, like, you know, uh, some changes in that area. But specifically, like if I live in an area where my kids don't go to the school, I mean, essentially, if you have a normal priced home in Austin, uh, a, a, a median priced home in Austin in the city actually pays more to the public school in terms of your portion of the, the, your portion of taxes that go to the public school district than I pay to send my kid to a good Christian private school here. So yeah. in, in that regard, your kids should be getting in public school, a equivalent private school education in terms of the cost of tuition per child and it doesn't thanks for watching this short of the real amigos podcast for more live streams hit here for more clips hit here we'll catch you on the next one